You see yourself getting married here. costumes and I mean it might seem like I don't take it that seriously to you maybe I think you take it as seriously as everyone else who comes here which is what serious enough to get married to someone <laughs> yeah well I mean what I was trying to say is I do take it seriously It's just, it suited our situation and it suited us financially and with our friends and everything. And I just, I take it seriously. It's good. It's a serious issue. <laughs> I mean, you know, thinking about like the vows and thinking about Now you're making me nervous. <laughs> you smile 
and I figured we can make each other happy. And then the longer we were together, there were times when we were unhappy. And I remember feeling so confused because I thought when you found someone who made you happy, that it was supposed to be like that all the time. But what I realized was going through those unhappy times together made the happier times so much happier. And I realized that I loved you more than I ever thought I could love anybody. And I knew that that was what I wanted for the rest of my life. And then I wanted to make you happy for the rest of my life. And then I knew that you'd make me happy for the rest of our lives. And that we could spend the rest of our lives together trying. And I love you. And I do. And that's it. And I'm done. A lot of people come back and says, oh, I got married there 40 years ago. Boy, it's changed. <laughs> and they, they say, it doesn't look like it was when we came here. Many of the movie stars come here, but they, nobody knows about it, but we hear about it. You can, you can come in here. There was a couple came here on their horses, you know, and uh, to get married. They come on a bicycle, <laughs> motorcycles galore. But when they rev up their motors in that tunnel, I mean, it's, it's ear shattering, I'll tell you that. It's really something, something else. She's, she's, she's the queen of, of the wedding chapels. She's been here over 50 some years, I think. You see everybody come through this place. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. What we were taught when we were children is man's need is food, shelter, and clothing. And the rest of it, you get a job and work. <laughs> so you can buy the things that you want. And that's as simple as that. But some people take it a little further than themselves. And that's it. But if there's anything, any questions you want to ask me about the place, I could. Maybe if I can't tell it, my wife will back me up on what, what I don't know. Because <laughs> she's here more hours than I do anymore. You know, not that I can't, can't do it. I can still move around at my age, you know, but it's okay. Life's that way. Someday you'll reach this pinnacle. It's a fine, it's a fine life. Take one day at a time, and you take a good walk. You, you, you take a righteous walk, and this is what this place taught me. It's what you do in life, and if you have any dreams, you go for them. But this, this, is, this is a wonderful place to work, and uh, I feel good when I come here. I think I'll be on with my stage fright by tomorrow. You better be. I better be. Maybe I should have just recorded it just then and played it instead. <laughs> Maybe I'll just record a video of myself and play that. Yeah, you don't even have to be there. No. It's like, you know when you, you know when you go to a play and you see the show and it's all beautiful and glamorous and special and so when you go to the show and you see all that and then you go backstage and you see all the rigging and you see all the people dressed in black and the crew and the, all the behind the scenes and it's like that illusion is shattered to an extent 
know what i mean?